Once upon a time, in the bustling city of San Francisco, lived a kind and wealthy man named DJ Mulroney. He was an executive officer of a timber trading company and led a life of success and luxury. DJ was about to embark on a journey to Seattle to sell 50,000 acres of timberland. But little did he know, this trip would be far from ordinary. You see, DJ owned a splendid 1930 Rolls-Royce Phantom II, a car that was as grand as his achievements. It was a symbol of his hard-earned success. Ready to set out on his adventure, DJ hopped into his cherished car, eager to embark on a journey filled with excitement and wonder. But this journey wasn't just for him. DJ's beloved grandchildren, Elizabeth and Rodney, were to accompany him on this magical trip. As the kids rushed to meet their grandfather, their faces lit up with delight, ready for a grand adventure they'd never forget. With laughter and joy, they set off, leaving the city behind as they crossed the iconic San Francisco Bay Bridge. Little did they know that their path would lead them to a world beyond imagination, where magical secrets awaited in the heart of a mystical forest. Soon, they arrive at a secluded part of the forest, the Mulroney Grove, a recreation area owned by DJ's company. They hop off the car to start settling in. DJ takes out a picnic blanket while Elizabeth start wandering around the area. As Elizabeth wanders deeper into the forest, the wise owl and the mischievous raccoon noticed the little girl, Elizabeth, with intrigue. We have visitors, but I think they mean no harm. Let us observe from afar. The owl, known for its wisdom, sensed something special about the young girl. She possesses a pure heart, filled with wonder and curiosity. What if we give her a little surprise? just to make her smile. Oh, you and your mischief, my friend. But I agree, she deserves a touch of enchantment. <coughs> Jasper looked up at her with eyes filled with kindness and wonder. Greetings, young one. I am Jasper, guardian of the forest and its mystical secrets. What brings you to this enchanted realm? I'm Elizabeth, and I'm on a journey with my grandpa. We're having a picnic in the forest. I never expected to find a real gnome here. It's not every day we get to meet humans like you, Elizabeth. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. As they spoke, a magical connection formed between Elizabeth and Jasper. Their encounter would mark the beginning of a profound friendship and a journey that would forever change their lives. Jasper shared tales of his known community and their connection to the ancient trees that surrounded them. As the two newfound friends talked and laughed, they had no idea that this encounter would lead to a grand adventure filled with mysteries, magic, and a mission to save the known community. And so, Elizabeth and Jasper's extraordinary journey began a journey that would unite humans and gnomes, proving that the power of friendship and courage could overcome any obstacle. Elizabeth's excitement bubbled over as she thought about sharing this magical encounter with her grandpa. Grandpa, you won't believe it! I met a real gnome in the forest! His name is Jasper. Is that so? Well, I'd love to meet this Jasper, my dear. Following Elizabeth's lead, DJ walked further into the forest, 
where he saw the remarkable sight of the gnome named Jasper, who seemed as much a part of the forest as the trees themselves. Jasper welcomed DJ with a warm smile, knowing that their encounter would be the beginning of an extraordinary adventure. Filled with wonder and excitement, the family gathered around Jasper, eager to learn about the magical world he belonged to. As they listened, the family heard the melodic calls of the wise woodpeckers, who served as protectors of the forest. Inspired by the harmony of the forest creatures, the family decided to have a delightful picnic, sharing their joy with Jasper and the woodland inhabitants. Elizabeth then tells DJ that Jasper's grandfather Nobby, is suffering from a terrible sickness called fading and asked him for help. To which DJ replies that they will do everything to help. With newfound determination, the family followed Jasper into the heart of the forest, hoping to find a solution. As they journeyed deeper, they encountered the wise owl, the forest protector, who offered his guidance. Hello! Greetings, travelers! What brings you to this enchanted forest? Did that all just talk? I think it did, Grandpa! Oh, that's Rufus, the wise owl of the forest. He's been a friend to our known community for ages. A talking owl. This is incredible. Indeed, young one. The forest is full of wonders if you know where to look. As the trio ventured deeper into the redwood forest, guided by Jasper, they encountered a somber sight. Jasper's 943-year-old grandfather, Nobby. Like DJ, Nobby was passionate and short-tempered, but there was a sadness that weighed heavily on him. Grandpa, Elizabeth, Rodney, this is the terrible problem I mentioned. Nobby is suffering from a sickness called fading. Fading is a fate that befalls gnomes when they lose the will to live. As they grow older, they fear that they are the last two of their known kind. They want Jasper to find a bride before his time comes. Greetings, humans. I am Nobby, Jasper's grandfather. Jasper said that he will do his best to find a bride. But it is not easy because gnomes have become reclusive due to the logging damage and threat to their homes. Nobby also said that humans, especially from Mulroney's marauders, have caused much destruction. DJ is startled by this revelation. He is also told that they have been the worst loggers, endangering their very existence. You have my word, Nobby. I'll make sure to protect this forest, and together, we'll find other gnomes and a bride for Jasper. With newfound resolve and a sense of camaraderie, the trio continued their quest to seek other gnomes and to restore hope to Nobby's fading heart. Little did they know that their journey would be filled with challenges, laughter, and a chance to bridge the gap between humans and gnomes. DJ was a very kind and generous man, who loved nature and his grandchildren very much. He wanted to help Jasper find a bride for his grandfather Nobby, who was very old and sad. He thought that if Jasper could find another gnome to love, Nobby would be happy again and stop fading away. DJ decides to take Jasper and Nobby along with them in his Rolls Royce, which he calls the Gnome Mobile. He also decides to postpone his business meeting in Seattle until he can find a suitable bride for Jasper. After driving for hours in the Gnome Mobile, a customized 1930 Rolls Royce Phantom II that belonged to DJ Mulroney, a millionaire and a timber tycoon, they decided to stop at a hotel for the night. They were accompanied by Jasper and Nobby, two gnomes who lived in the forest near DJ's house. Chaos ensues as Jasper and his grandfather, Nobby, find themselves kidnapped by the cunning Horatio Quaxton, a sinister freak show owner with a sinister agenda. Meanwhile, DJ, 
who has grown close to the gnomes and their magical world, is unjustly committed to an asylum by Yarby, a bewildered assistant who starts to believe that his boss, DJ, has truly lost his mind. Trapped within the dreary confines of the asylum, DJ frantically tries to convince the staff that he's not insane and that gnomes do exist. However, his passionate pleas fall on deaf ears, and he is unable to escape the oppressive walls that surround him. Rodney and Elizabeth, as DJ's loving and devoted grandchildren, are deeply concerned when they learn about their grandfather's unjust confinement in the asylum. They are determined to rescue him and reunite with the magical gnomes that have become such an integral part of their lives. Rodney and Elizabeth devise a clever plan to free DJ from the asylum's clutches. Their youthful energy and resourcefulness serve them well as they navigate the complex and intimidating world of the institution. With the help of the gnomes, who are experts at hiding and sneaking around, they manage to infiltrate the asylum unnoticed. Using their grandfather's extensive knowledge of the gnome's ways, they outsmart the guards and rescue DJ from his imprisonment. The joy of reuniting with their grandfather is immeasurable, and DJ is relieved and grateful to have his loving grandchildren by his side again. Meanwhile, as Quaxton's obsession with the gnome's magic intensifies, he becomes more relentless in his pursuit of Jasper and Nobby. Jasper, the mischievous gnome, finds himself ensnared by the devious Horatio Quaxton. As Quaxton seeks to exploit the gnome's magical powers for profit and fame, he kidnaps Jasper, hoping to use the little creature as a captivating attraction in his freak show. DJ, Rodney, and Elizabeth infiltrate Quaxton's lair to rescue Jasper. The group sets out on a new quest to find Nobby, the wise gnome leader who had managed to escape Quaxton's clutches earlier. Nobby holds the answers to the gnome's magic and the connection between their worlds. It becomes clear that the fate of both the human and gnome realms depends on their ability to work together. They arrive in the woods to find Nobby delighted with the presence of a thriving community of gnomes. Welcome, dear friends! I knew you'd come to witness this joyous occasion. Jasper is recognized by Rufus the Gnome King as the eligible gnome to a large number of young females of his race, who compete in a contest to determine which one will marry him. I can't believe my luck! Grandpa Nobby! They chose me as the eligible gnome! He is smitten with one timid, lovely girl gnome named Shy Violet, who is very clumsy and very innocent, even though she is hated by all of the other girl gnomes. Jasper tries to get Violet to catch him, but she keeps getting pushed to the side and run over by the other very aggressive girl gnomes. However, after a very wild chase, Violet manages to win the race and she and Jasper get married. DJ gives as a wedding present the rights to the 50,000 acres of forest that were to be sold for logging, which become a haven for the gnomes. With this gift, may the forest remain untouched and a haven for gnomes for generations to come. In the end, the human and gnome worlds found harmony, and the 50,000 acres of forest were gifted to the gnomes as a safe haven. Jasper and Shy Violet's love prevailed, uniting the two realms. The friendship between humans and gnomes grew strong, and their shared adventures became a beloved legend. The enduring tale of the gnome mobile taught the world about courage, compassion, and the magic that lies within all hearts, leaving a legacy of wonder and imagination for generations to come. The End <laughs>